G'day and welcome back to Gene Forge 5. We're up to episode 21 now, I think. It's actually been going quite a while. So, we're just going to keep exploring. We got all all the beautiful loot out the back. My lovely mechanic skill paying for itself yet again. Uh, a bunch of sticks and a wand of curses. No idea what dampening field is. But I don't normally use anything hiding. Nope. I don't normally use wands anyway, so let's just sell it. It's pretty much what it's good for, in my eyes. Better than lugging around more equipment in your backpack. Well, I think that's this map cleared. Oh, I think our next call, our next port of call, is going to be to turn in some quests. Oh. Okay, so something entered the fen. That is... Oh no, it comes down here, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah I remember now. Forgot about that. Um, I'll sell my stuff and figure out where... Quests are going to have to be turned in. I think they're all up in the main base. I've got... Oh, I better drop those herbs off as well. I think that's the quest that my the quest giver died. Anvil I know is down south somewhere. Papers are probably not going to be given to Rowell. Benhold I have information on. And the Merkwood Assassin has been taken care of. And they're all up in this base here for the time being. It's my next target, I think. Actually, I think I'm going to start doing... I've got essence to spare. I'm going to start bumping them up a little bit. They come back in later. We've got Bormac and we've got Chess Rook, which means we have here Alhoon and Sajuk, who seem to be our most killed Fioras. Which is a bit unfortunate. For them, at least. Not for me, I'm still alive. That's really all that matters in the end, isn't it? <laughs> I can't imagine why you wouldn't want to be a a slave of me. I'm very generous to them. Uh, get that done. That one. I'm going to keep that, I think. So if we go... Actually... Yeah, actually, before I go up here, I'm going to go and go see Phipps in the testing halls, I believe. Testing halls. Go grab Phipps and give him... Not that I'll probably get much experience this late in the game. He was... Here. Uh, yep, there you go. 100 experience. Actually, not bad. Takes herbs and smells you. Not ideal, but they will do. Next time you speak with me of the anvil, I will share a secret of you. Okay. Tell me about the anvil. It is like any other forge, but blessed. Farting... Okay. Alright, this one's not terribly rare or hard to learn, but it's very valuable. If you combine Demon's Bile and Mandrake's Tincture over a Blessed Anvil, you can create a powerful elixir. Pour this elixir, again, over a Blessed Anvil, on the right sort of blade or piece of armour, and you will remove the impurities from the metal. It will be greatly improved. I have heard that such a purified blade or garment can then be treated with other substances 
elevating it into an artifact of great power. Sadly, I do not know more than this. And I will be creating artifacts later on in the game, if I manage to figure out how to do it. I think I've got a, a bit of a memory of how previous ones in other games have been made, but generally you just combine the different things onto the armour and figure it out. But while I'm here, I've actually forgotten about this anvil. While I'm here, I'm going to use it and combine my things in. I've got a perfect drag scale and that ring. Hmm. Ah, I need a platinum ring. It's a bit unfortunate. In which case, a Fiora scale will do. And another shielding band. Which Um, Rune Groovy. Hmm, got this one over here. I think you can mix an Artea's eye with a gold necklace. No, that must be a silver necklace. In that case, maybe a Glock's eye will do it. Oh, wait. Nope. Um,. I don't know why I'm keeping it then, I might as well just get rid of them. No. Ah, maybe a Roma's Fang. No. I don't know why I'm keeping these then, if they're not fusible into anything. I might just sell them off. I'll think about it between episodes. I'm not really sure what to do just yet. I might just go and dump them in a house somewhere and try not to forget about them. But I've got a few more things I can sell now anyway. Free up some inventory space. And we're off to... You know what, I have no idea where I'm going to go. I could probably go here. That'll be, I assume, for what's his name's quest? Raoul's quest. Uh, Helft was where they told me to find another anvil. So I'll go look for that anvil. That might be useful for something. Staring out over the fen, you were confronted with a grim testimonial to the devastation of the war. There was once a small town here, swamp dwellers who lived off the herbs and materials they could gather from the fen. The town has been demolished. Most of the buildings have been destroyed. All of them bear huge burned patches where they were struck with bolts of raw magical power. Some of them were then personally dismantled by something very large, with claws. All of the people are gone now. The destroyers have also departed, though they might return. Sounds like there might be a... Unbound somewhere here, so I'll be careful. Uh, won't go that way. Vlish. Get our listicles. Decent experience. The stone building in the southeast corner of the town was the largest structure. It was several linked domes marked with the symbol of the shapers. Though its owner was, has gone or was killed, it is not unoccupied. You can see a huge reptilian figure walking around inside it. It is barely visible in the shadows. While it might not immediately be hostile, if it catches you inside its lair, it'll definitely be ignored. Be annoyed. Um, huge reptilian thing walking around. If it's going to be non-hostile, it's probably a dracon or something. Or a drake. Which is probably not something to immediately worry about. Open the locked door. Okay. 
There is an instant change in the air, a magic charge. Your skin tingles. The air seems to grow darker. Your altered senses immediately pick it up. Something has entered the region, somewhere to the northwest. Something enormously powerful. Something is out hunting. Well, that will be the Unbound. Makes me wonder if I can actually take one on, though, because I've taken on people who have sort of 600 HP and managed to beat them relatively convincingly. And Unbound does double that. I think, or might be three times that. So, ooh, Augmented Lish. Just gonna hide over here. So it makes me wonder if I can actually take it out or not. Ooh, it's stronger than I thought. Spider silk robe. Is that going to be armor? Yes, there you go. Energy resistance, pretty light. And an iron breastplate that I can sell. There we go, there's the... This is a bit scary. I wonder if he's going to attack me or not. He might, he might not. Although that looks like a back door into the building. Ah, uh, let's use the living tool. That's a good level up. Um, oh, okay. I've got had three level ups that I haven't paid attention to. <laughs> um, I want mental magic up to at least two so I can cast rack. I want intelligence up. And if I can put that and magic shaping up, one more each. It's a pretty good level, I reckon. Okay, if I go through there, I'm going to die. Simple as that. So. That's how I'm going to do it. Come in from the top. Try not to kill everyone. Oh shit, shit, shit. Um. Well, okay. That showed me. Don't take on an unbound. <laughs> they just got absolutely creamed. Absolutely destroyed. That was pathetic. Uh, are there any more? Nope, guess not. Can I sneak in without that drake killing me? Oh, 
bullshit. When Helft was attacked and destroyed, it looked like someone tried to search through this desk and get something of importance. They were interrupted. The papers within are disorganised but intact. It looks like interesting bits of Shaper research. You gather them up and put them in your pack. There are probably a number of people who would pay well for Shaper secrets. Um, I have a suspicion that I'm going to die very shortly. Because I've been here a bit long, but let's keep checking. Oh, there we go. The Drake Filer sees you nosing about in his lair. He is predictably furious. He doesn't bother with conversation. He just charges. No, no, no. It's all good. It's all good, bud. Fuck. Okay. Note to self. Go this way. Old abandoned shaper machinery. Oh, there you go. You open up a panel at the base and see something glittering deep inside the housing. You reach in and smack the housing in a few strategic spots. A few crystals shake loose and roll out. Ah, nope. To get. Ah, what crystals did I get? Oh, there you go. Ice infused crystal. You're not very powerful. Crystal. Oh, hide, hide, hide. Okay. Um, Terrorlish. I uh, don't know if I'm able to even beat this thing. 44%, I might be able to win. That worked. Okay, let's check if that is still attached to anything. Nope, guess not. Today I survived. Uh, I'm not going to go to the infested crossroad quite yet. Um, actually, that's what I was doing. I was going to be turning in quests. I can't believe I forgot to do that. Um, I'm going to bump you up. I'm going to have one strong... strong one for the time being. And then I'll go grab more once I can refill my essence. Forty XP. Wow, it's pretty good. Ah, oh, come on! I don't know what the chances of missing so many attacks are. Not fun though. Under health. You open the trap door and climb down the ladder. You find a narrow stone corridor. It has completely collapsed. Tons of rock block the way. There was probably something interesting in the smithy. Whatever it is, if it still exists, you'll only be able to reach it from the other side. Okay. I don't know what the other side is, but... Okay, it's probably a little too many. So, uh, 
Good luck to you. Just had a lag spike. Okay. Wish me well. Well, I survived. Barely. But we are still alive. Ooh. Um. Good luck, you keep hitting him. Could be a problem. Coming right for me. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, having just survived... Whoa, no, 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 oh shit. Having just survived from that Unbound, and nearly died, and having survived again, I think I'm going to call this episode. I will see you next time when I head up to the Harekel and start handing in my quests. Thanks very much. Take care. I'll see you around.